Hey everybody, Pastor Phil here. Psalm 84 verse 8 says, Hear my prayer, O Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, O God of Jacob. Since the writer knows to find true satisfaction in the Lord, he has developed a strong connection with God. And since he has this tight relationship with God, he can expect the Lord to listen when he prays. And the same should be for us. Abraham was called God's friend. And Jesus told the disciples that he no longer would refer to them as servants, but rather as friends. You can be a friend of God too. And because of that status, you can expect him to hear and listen when you pray. Verse 10 says, better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. When you connect with God in such a way that you begin to see him as your personal friend, and when you know he satisfies the thirst within your soul, then you love spending time with him. The courts of the Lord is simply a reference to entering into God's presence. The writer here has come to love the Lord so much that he would rather get just one day up close with God than a thousand anywhere else. There are many benefits when you are near to God. Even in the darkest hours, he's a light as bright as the sun. When troubles are all around, he's a shield of protection. The writer says that God doesn't hold back on good things for those whose walk is blameless. Understand that God is no, not holding out on you. He is always working for your good. Verse 12 says, O Lord Almighty, blessed is the man who trusts in you. And this is the summary. When you trust God, you are blessed, joyful, happy, and successful. This trust of God is more than just words. It means to place your reliance upon God, having full confidence in His good will toward you. And when you come to the point of trusting God this completely, then you are truly blessed. And then you understand the earlier verses. One day with God is better than thousands elsewhere. The thirst within your soul is finally satisfied in God's presence.